Hi right, everybody, this is Daniel Chris from Star Facts, and uh, as you can see, I'm actually outside. I'm actually uh, in a different place right now. I'm actually visiting some family, and so what I'm actually going to do here is I'm actually going to do an outdoor episode uh, reviewing uh, Steve Brissett's The Rise and Fall of Dinosaurs, A New History of the Lost World. And so, so what I'm actually going to do here, since I read this book uh, from book cover to cover, and uh, what this book is mainly about is basically telling you about basically how dinosaurs actually came to uh, to dominate the planet, and then ultimately, uh, ultimately actually kind of came to their demise, which is basically their their fall. And so Steve Bristow goes into more detail in terms of the science, and it's kind of going through basically some of his stories uh, through uh, his time in paleontology. And so, um, Steve Brissot does a very good job at this book. He actually makes this very easy to read, and it's very informational. And uh, if you actually ever need to learn anything about dinosaurs, how they actually became to dominate the planet, and, and how they actually really kind of uh, lived and all that sorts of stuff, it is very, very intriguing. I recommend this book. It is actually very, very intriguing. Uh, there's a few chapters in there, and there's basically, I think there's... Uh, close to nine or ten chapters and so uh, some chapters can be a bit long but uh, they actually are very very intriguing but uh, uh, my favorite chapters so and my favorite chapters in the book are actually uh, <clears throat> uh, beginning of the dinosaur the uh, beginnings of the dinosaurs so it's basically uh, what are the common ancestors so it actually kind of starts at the end Permian extinction and actually kind of goes to the early Jur Triassic and you actually kind of find out where uh, dinosaurs actually officially kind of came from. And then, and then also my other favorite types of chapters, since I am a sucker uh, for Tyrannosaurs and Tyrannosaurus Rex, uh, the Tyrant Lizards are actually is a favorite uh, chapter of mine, and even King of the Dinosaurs, which is main, mainly talks about Tyrannosaurus Rex. And that is just uh, spectacular chapters. I love those chapters. Even uh, Dinosaurs Taking Flight, that is actually a very good chapter. I, th those are chapters that are very, very... Um, intriguing. I love this, and this is a very excellent book. Uh, Steve Broussard does actually tell a good story uh, for his prologue, uh, his prologue, and uh, I'm actually going to read a quote uh, for you, basically, on, on, uh, on basically from this book, and it's basically from the prologue, and it says, most of all, though, I want to show that dinosaurs were not aliens, nor were they failures. They're cer and certainly not irrelevant. So this actually makes a very interesting point, is that this is actually a book not for everyone, but even though if you're interested in paleontology, this is actually a very, this is actually a spectacular read. I'm not going to go all too many details through this book, but it is actually highly recommended, and uh, talks about certain uh, uh, trips that he's went on, even talks about some history uh, in paleontology in this, but mainly focuses on uh, throughout the time of the Mesozoic, basically Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous, and so you're actually looking through uh, dinosaurs, uh, how they lived, how they became to dominate the planet, and then ultimately to their extinction. And so this is a well done, and um, and a, one flaw of this book is that is actually is that it doesn't actually give you uh, too much detail uh, that much on certain parts of dinosaurs, but even though it actually does actually. Uh, fill in some of the blanks a little bit more uh, than what some other types of uh, paleontology books that are out there. Some paleontology books are very technical and they're very hard to read, but even though if you actually understand uh, the science, then you can actually uh, understand the technical meanings of them. But like Transfer Chronicles is very, it's kind of technical, but uh, if you actually understand the language, you, you can actually understand it. So I understood that language. And this one's actually very easy for everybody to read. And so. If you're interested in paleontology, get this book. You can find it on Amazon. You can find it on Barnes & Noble. I got this on Amazon. I got it for a really good price, but uh, always check prices because you never know what kind of uh, prices are going to be out there uh, for this kind of book. But uh, Steve Brissat, thank you for actually making this book. This is actually a well-deserved read. I love this book. I thank you for actually giving this information. And, uh, and that's it for now. And the next week would actually be a special episode, and somebody actually suggested me Dakota Raptor. And I don't think I've ever done Dakota Raptor yet. And I'm, 
a special episode. So uh, keep them, keep it up, keep it up, uh, keep up the date for that episode. That'll happen next week, and so you can still send me about send me questions about dinosaurs and any other any other prehistoric life by emailing me at dinochris71 at gmail.com, or just go to my Facebook page, Prehistoric Facts of Dino Chris. Like the page, you can actually post your questions on the comment section or even on the wall on my Facebook page. Remember, keep your questions short to the point. You can also follow me on Twitter and C S G I L L. That's my Twitter page. I post pretty cool stuff on there, and also take care of the people around you. And also, younger people out there, always make sure to listen to your parents, your teachers, and your guardians. It's the best motivation you can have a good education. It's very important to have a good education. So with a good education, you get a good job and a future. All right, that's it for now, and I'll see you guys next week.